Hey y'all. Today um, I'm going to be making some blueberry lavender jam. I've got a farmer's market this weekend and that's a really popular seller. So I need to, to make some more for this, this coming weekend. Um, I use a recipe from justapinch.com. I've tried a couple different recipes and this is one I like the best. Um, what you use is eight cups of blueberries and you put them in a food processor and kind of get kind of chop them up a little bit so that you end up with something that looks kind of like this. You still see some, you know, the, you can tell that they're blueberries. It's not just mush. And I put that in the pot and then I zested a lemon. Now, I love this zester because it will hold the zest. These are really, really sharp. You have to be really careful that you don't get fingernail or your skin. And when you take the zest off, you're just taking just that yellow part. That white part underneath is bitter. So you don't want to use that. So I, I zest the zest of one lemon and then I juice the lemon and added the juice. So we have blueberries, our zest, and our juice here and for the lavender part i use culinary lavender this is organic this is, happens to be from france it's an english lavender and it's dry and you make a little tea with it you take two tablespoons of the dried lavender and put it in half a cup of boiling water and then you let that steep for one hour and then you strain the um, lavender out. So you just need just the tea and it looks like this. It's kind of dark. And it smells like lavender. So I have that in my stainless steel pot and what I'm doing is I'm bringing this to a boil. And you want to kind of stir it so that it, it doesn't scorch. And when it comes to a boil, I'm gonna add four and a half cups of sugar that I've also added some pectin to. Now, I, use, I like this low sugar pectin. I add three tablespoons of that to my sugar and mix it in. You could also use a box of Sure Gel. Um, but I, and I have that sitting in a bowl right here, the pectin and the sugar. Four and a half cups of sugar and the pectin. I've got my jars in the water, my lids in the water, and I'm just waiting for this to come to a boil. So once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna add the sugar and with the pectin in it, and I'm going to bring it back to a full rolling boil and then boil for one minute once it gets to that full rolling boil. And then, after one minute, I take it off the heat. If there's any foam that forms on the top, you can skim that off. Um, that's just uh, from the pectin there. And it's pretty good to eat. Usually I don't have much foam. Um, and then you put it into your jars that have been sterilized with one fourth inch head space. And you put on your lids and your bands and then you water bath these. It's where you put them in a pot of water and to where they're covered with at least two inches of water. And I'll process those for 10 minutes for this jam. And then after 10 minutes, you bring it to a rolling boil. Then you start your timer for 10 minutes. I'll put the lid on it. And after 10 minutes, I cut it off and I let it set for five minutes. And then I take them out and wait to hear the pop, 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 pop that we all love. And this is this is not a super sweet jam. Um, you do get the lavender flavor. Um, pairs very well with the blueberries. Um, so blueberries are in season. 
Uh, the blueberries I just bought for this are from Georgia. They were like $1.87 for a pint carton, which is two cups of berries, which is super cheap. And uh, they looked really nice. The last batch I did was the ones that I picked myself at Blessington Farms that were organic. Um, and the storm blew all their blueberries off. We had a storm last week that was a lot of wind, so they're gone. Um, so try this out. It's really easy. It doesn't take long. Um, you don't have to use a thermometer. You just follow the instructions. Like I said, this is from www.justapitch.com. So I hope you make some blueberry lavender jam. It's really good. Bye, y'all.